Welcome to Amazing World Channel. The Shakespearean name aptly fits the dramatic weather situation Hurricane Ophelia, the farthest northeast Atlantic hurricane on record, was upgraded to a Category 3 storm as it passed next to the Portuguese Azores on Saturday evening on its expected northeasterly course towards Ireland. Read more hurricanes release energy of 10,000 nuclear bombs we have informed the American Hurricane Center that Ophelia has become Category 3, but that doesn't change our levels of alert, said Elsa Vieira from the Portuguese Meteorological Institutes at Regional Service. Read more Hurricane Nate weakens to tropical storm after slamming U.S. Gulf Coast. The storm was packing winds of over 115 miles per hour, 185 kilometers an hour, although it is expected to weaken before arriving on the west coast of the British Isles. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said that Ophelia will likely weaken before making landfall on the Emerald Isle, but warned that it could still be powerful. Colorado State University hurricane specialist Philip Klotzbach said that Ophelia's eastern location was unprecedented, also pointing out that it was the farthest north a hurricane has traveled this late in the calendar year since 1939. Ireland prepares for rain and wind. The Irish Meteorological Service issued a severe weather alert for five counties in the western part of Ireland from Monday morning into early Tuesday. Constant high and gusting winds of up to 80 miles an hour 130 km per hour could cause damage and disruption, the service warned, as well as the possibility of high seas and flooding. Read more Donald Trump lashes out at Puerto Rico as lawmakers approve $36.5 billion aid package. Britain's Meteorological Service also warned that high winds might hit Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. On Saturday evening, inhabitants of the Azores had braced themselves for 12 to inches 51 to 101 millimeters of rain. Authorities placed seven of the nine islands on red alert as authorities told people to stay home. Ophelia is the sixth major hurricane this season. The storm's formation is in encore appearance in 2005. A similarly named hurricane moved upward along the eastern Atlantic coast of the United States. Hurricane, Typhoon, and Cyclone are actually three names for the same phenomenon. Along the North American coast they are called hurricanes, in East and Southeast Asia they are called typhoons, and near India and Australia they are called cyclones. But despite the different names, they develop in the same way. Tropical storms develop over oceans, when the water temperature is at least 26 degrees Celsius 79 degrees Fahrenheit. As the warm water evaporates and condenses, the air around it heats up and drags cooler air upwards, creating powerful winds. The Earth's rotation causes the air stream to move around the eye of the storm, which can be up to 50 kilometers wide. This area is nearly completely free of clouds and wind. When a tropical storm hits a coastline, it becomes weaker due to the lack of warm water. In Australia, Marshall was soon downgraded to a Category 1 storm, while Lamb weakened after striking near Brisbane. Masses of water from the sea often cause the worst damage as seen here in China after Typhoon and Myrtle in August 2011. Hurricane Sandy was one of the strongest hurricanes ever recorded over the Atlantic Ocean. It caused waves of up to 4 meters high, fires, power outages and broken dikes. Sandy arrived with winds at speeds of more than 145 km per hour. Cuba, New York and New Jersey were particularly affected. Tornadoes however, are non-tropical whirlwinds, that can occur anywhere a storm is brewing. Local temperature differences force warm air upwards, and cold air down, and a column of warm air, rotates upwards at an increasing velocity. Tornadoes are usually only a maximum of one kilometer in diameter. As the warm air rises, it forms a funnel, the main characteristic of a tornado. Inside the funnel, the speed of the air can be tremendous up to 500 kilometers per hour. Tornadoes are the fastest whirlwind type of weather phenomenon. A tornado can leave a trail of destruction several kilometers long. In the U.S. Midwest, tornadoes occur several hundred times a year, or as dry, cold air from the north hits damp, warm air from the Gulf of Mexico. It's different in other countries in Germany. For example, tornadoes occasionally occur along the coast. 
author Bridget Osterath U C M B J M Reuters AFP AP